Christmas Day, just in time to celebrate Thanksgiving, one of one of the best holidays ever invented, uh, a, a great holiday, because what's Thanksgiving really about? It's about giving thanks for what's important in life, and it's about giving thanks to our ability to, to live as well as we do. To, it's, it's, it's to give thanks to the, the, the incredible incredible wealth we all have uh, you know as individuals and you know and I include here even relatively poor people because of the great producers of the world you, you know we have electricity we have running water you know we have we have TVs in which you know we can go watch uh, the football game or the basketball game or the latest movie or the la- but more than that you, it actually you can stream anything you want so uh, what a what a world we live in what a world of of great innovation and progress and, and productive wealth and it, it really is uh, worth celebrating because if you think about Thanksgiving what were they celebrating harvest and, and their ability to you know they're living well and they're eating finally right the pilgrims they after suffering and, and 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 after you know crops that didn't really yield anything they finally finally now are producing and this is really Thanksgiving Ayn Rand called Thanksgiving the producer's holiday. This is the time we celebrate our ability to produce, our ability to put food on the table, but more than food, to put Netflix on the television, to, to you know, to be online, to, to, to create all the wonderful things that are in our world and celebrate that and really to, to, to live the good life, to live the good life. And Thanksgiving is a, is a time to celebrate and to uh, cherish really the the you know the uh, how much how much we have you know we have around us the wealth we have around us the it, it, it's it's stunning it's it's good to sit back and think just 250 years ago we were all subsistence farmers and most of us were most of us were dying of starvation and most of our kids died before they each it reached the age 10 and uh, we lived on what three dollars a day or less. Most of us lived on less than three dollars a day. So, to me, Thanksgiving at the end of the day is really a celebration of the great producers, uh, of the people who made the modern world possible, who made us as wealthy, as rich, as as you know, as as successful at life as as we are today. And and this the the. The wealth of opportunities that each one of us has today is just inconceivable to people 100 years ago, even 50 years ago, certainly 250 years ago before the Industrial Revolution. So I'm thankful to all that wealth and really thankful to the people who made that wealth possible because I don't take it for granted. You see, one of the things, one of the things that, that, that people do is they take it for granted. So the things I'm really thankful for is really our ability to live the kind of life we live today. And, and, and that is so dependent on all the great heroes, known and unknown, of production over the last 200 years. Uh, you know, all the, all, the, all the people who made modern life possible, who invented indoor plumbing, who created a modern sewage system, who created, you know, Thomas Edison, who, who discovered what you could do with electricity, but then tried to commercialize it. And then there's all the people who actually succeeded in commercializing electricity in spite of government's attempts to block it over and over and over again all the time. And then there's all the engineers and the scientists who, you know, worked unbelievable hours and under unbelievable conditions in order to increase human knowledge so that ultimately entrepreneurs could take that human knowledge and apply it to, I don't know, building the internet, let's say, or building such companies today that, again, it just just seem to just exist, like Facebook and Twitter and, uh, well, Twitter, I don't know, but, but, you know, Amazon and Google. Well, what would life be like? I mean, we love to hate Google, but what would life be like without Google? without Sergey Brin and, and, and his co-founders who created this amazing, amazing company. So I'm thankful to all those entrepreneurs and inventors and creators and engineers and scientists, the people who build the world. 
And notice I've not mentioned politicians because I'm not thankful to them because all they do is try to get in the way. The last politicians I'm really thankful to, the last politicians I'm really thankful to are the founding fathers because they're the last worthy politicians. All right, what are you thankful for? What are you thankful